We've got a precious piece of history living in the valley, an original Rosie the Riveter who just turned 100. And she was greeted by a 10-year-old today who's been waiting to meet her. Fox 10's Dominique Newland has the story. It was a special day for 10-year-old Audrey Graft. We are meeting Erlinda, the World War II Rosie Riveter. Every birthday, Audrey dresses up in a different theme for her photos. And this year, she chose Rosie the Riveter because of her powerful message. We're strong, we're independent, we can do it. Audrey's mom called the Air Force Museum in Mesa to take some photos. One thing led to another, and Audrey was given the opportunity to meet Erlinda, a real-life Rosie in Phoenix. <laughs> I'm very happy to meet you. Yeah, me too. Erlinda just turned 100 years old and worked in the Goodyear Aircraft Company, repairing B-25s and other planes during World War II. She wanted to join her brother, who was enlisted. I went to the recruiting office and the friend, we don't take women. I said, well, I'm not a woman, I'm a girl and I want to join the Army. That we can do it attitude led to this original Rosie meeting a future generation one. This little girl, she can do or work at whatever she wants. She can join the Army, uh, fly a plane, um, be on a ship. You can do whatever you want to do, whatever you want to work it, you can do it. Side by side, walking through the Air Force Museum together. Orlinda, a living piece of history, sharing stories with Audrey, whose bright future is just beginning. Say whatever you want to say and have the freedom to do it, which in other countries, I believe you, you don't have that right. But thank God we have the right here. Not only as man, but as woman, and now I'm glad this young generation will carry it on. Women empowering one another, proving the legacy of Rosie the Riveter lives on. And as women, we can do it. For Fox 10 News, I'm Dominique Newland.